Okay, so it's time for the uh, second coat now. Um, and uh, as, as you can see, how uh, how it goes on on the first coat. Now there are some little leaves and stuff like that that's on the deck. So before I start to uh, cut in, I'm gonna blow the deck off, and then we're gonna start to cut in. And I'm gonna cut in all the areas along the perimeter around the posts, in the corners, on top, and against the house with a three-inch brush here. Uh, and then after it's cut in, then we'll we'll roll out the uh, second coat. So we'll be back in a flash. Okay, so we're gonna blow the deck off here to get rid of stuff like this, 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 and other stuff that we don't see. Okay, so again, that's very important um, to do that before you apply the uh, second coat. Okay, so I have my three inch brush here and I have my stain in here. What we're gonna be doing is cutting in first. So we're gonna cut in all around here where we couldn't get with the roller. And I'll just cut this in here. spot prime that and just remember to fan out what uh what you cut in so don't leave a uh, sharp line right there or there just bring that out a little bit further and down here and then just touch up any areas that you see that uh like here and then what we'll do is come around here to to the back side here and just reach over come around here See the color difference here. So the, the uh, new stuff is a is a little bit darker, um, and that makes sense because the sun has lightened lightened it up for the past two years. We have some bare spots here, so it's going to touch those up there and come around here. Hit that there.
Okay, so anywhere that you couldn't get with the roller, just use the brush to cut in with. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut in against the house here. So I'm just gonna lay down a bead like that. And come back up here, drag it into the corner, and pull across. Turn the brush around, come back the other way, and then feather it off. So come into it. And come into it there and pull across. Come back here and then feather it off. And always just go back, feather off by going back into it there. It helps to use a uh, good brush when doing this, especially so you don't get it all over the, uh, the um, siding. Now this board right here is going to get replaced, but I'm just going to cut this in anyway here. So I'm just gonna go around and cut around all these posts right here. I'm gonna do the same thing that I did over there to the, the this side here, and then once that's done, we'll uh, we'll, we'll be back to uh, roll out the uh, second coat. Okay, so I have the deck all cut in, and now um, we're gonna roll out the uh, second coat here. So. Just gonna atta attach this. Um, now you can either roll it out either like the, the long way or the same way. I'm gonna do it the uh, same way. And what you're gonna find is with this coat, it's just gonna go on so much easier than the first coat. Because we're painting over a painted sur surface now or a freshly paint painted surface so you don't get a lot of that friction 
and you're, and you're able to spread the paint around on top of the surface whereas the first coat a lot of it was getting sucked into the bare to the bare wood and also it's in the shade right now so it makes a world of a difference We want to really kind of put put this on as thick as possible. Try to build up the surface. Because again, this is what protects your deck from the sun and the rain is the film thickness. And if you don't put it on that thick, then the sun and the elements will just disintegrate the top layer that much sooner. And you want to roll as close to the house as you can. So I'm coming within like a half inch to a quarter of an inch. And just slow the roller down. Okay, so that looks good there. And again, this is this deck is nice because I can just roll right under the spindles here to get to the edge of the deck, whereas a lot of decks or spindles will lie <clears throat> much lower to the uh, to the decking boards, and you won't be able to get your roller on, underneath there. So that's a it's a nice ban ban banny there. And again, you want to put it on thi thick enough so that when you go over areas like this, I hope that you can see that with the camera, when the, the, this is much duller, the sheen is much duller than this because this was bare wood and this is one coat of that stain. A lot of it got sucked in, but it's sealed now. So once you put another thick layer on it, it should help <sighs> turn more like that there. Okay, then we'll come into the edge of the house here. And again, roll as close to the house as possible.
So with this board right here, you can see there was a lot of bare wood there. Come back over here and fill in this area here. And when you're rolling, you don't want to push in with that much pre pressure or else you'll get lines on either side of it. So just just use a light, light pre pressure and that'll save your roller too. So your roller doesn't get too uh, squeezed out or thinned out or flatted out.